Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And in today's video, I want to we're gonna start jump, just jump right into uh, one of the big questions I get asked quite often. I see other people asking on different uh, Mustang accounts and things of the sort. Do they make good first cars? Now it's a little bit windy, so I'm gonna hop in the Mustang and go for a little drive. It's a better spot to record. From there, I'll get more detail. Hope you enjoy this video. So currently back on the road, I'm now no longer parked in the middle of the road. So once I get to a better area to record, I'm gonna kind of go into more detail about the question of the day. So a Camaro SS right there. This is a really cool place to go. Um, in case you don't know the Florida area, I'm actually driving through uh, Celebration. And they have quite a few cool cars driving through here. That BMW i8 is actually always parked there. I've driven through a few times, I've always seen it. Almost in the same spot. But this is a really, really cool area. This is actually where um, they had one of the most recent car shows. Um, really cool area to be. Just come back here one of these days and do a little car spot, maybe on the weekend. It's an old Mustang over there, new, an old New Edge Mustang. But if I could uh, navigate through here without hitting a car, that'd be really nice. So, I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't hit anything. Gonna go to the spot to record, talk about um, today's question, question of the day, topic of the day, whatever you wanna call it. And I'll see you guys there. So I found the place to park. After um, navigating through the town celebration, I found a really good spot. And now we're gonna jump right into the question that I get asked quite often, and I know a lot of people really wanna know this because with the Mustang being the number one most sold uh, sports car in the US, it's gonna be pretty common that a lot of people want the car and quite possibly as their first car like I did. Uh, my first car, in case maybe you don't know, was the uh, 2016 Mustang EcoBoost. And it was a lot of fun, had a, a lot of good experience with the car, road tripping back and forth all across the state and doing a lot of really cool, fun things with it. Really gave me a big appreciation for the Mustang EcoBoost and just Mustang in general, because I've been a Mustang fan for the longest time, but after owning one and experiencing it, even though it was a four cylinder, I had a blast with it. So, number one, first question, do they make good first cars? I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes they do, and no they don't. Now let me explain about that really quick. So, the reason why I say they do and they don't is because it really depends on the driver. If you're a newly licensed 16 year old, and you just want to jump right in with the Mustang of uh, all cars to choose from. I applaud you for choosing one of the best cars, uh, best American muscle cars or, or pony cars. Um, but the thing is, they're very powerful and the way they're designed is that they're rear, rear wheel drive, I can't speak, but with that being said, um, they're slippery. If you barely put it on the gas, there's a good chance you could be spinning already. And powerful cars with a newly licensed driver with not a lot of experience that could be a recipe for disaster so it really all depends on the driver when I say are they good as far as the power um, mechanic plays into that I mean there's been many times even with the EcoBoost where I'm driving in the rain or not in the rain and I kind of want to give it some gas and if I take a turn too quickly or I accelerate too quickly the tires are spinning and I feel the car to start to uh, fishtail. And that's another thing, they're really easy to um, fishtail with. They're powerful cars that want to move and they could definitely slip inside depending on the conditions or the driver. So that's one thing to take in mind when it comes to having a, a your first car and that your first car being a Mustang, it's something to consider. And number two, it's uh, one thing that I'm sure many people know is that when you have a Mustang you instead have a big target on you for police if they see a young driver with a you know a new Mustang police I support the police I love the police but they enjoy uh, having fun with their job if they see a Mustang speeding that's their chance to pull over a Mustang and have that they have their fun for the job so when you when you're driving you'll notice that more police are watching out for you and seeing what exactly is this Mustang up to? Even with me, when I had my first Mustang and with this new Mustang, it's pretty common that every now and then I'll get tailed. Not in a bad way, but the police, they'll follow you and they'll kind of scare you a little bit. Especially if you're on a toll road with highway patrol. I get that pretty often when I'm driving. I will see a parked state trooper. He'll then pull out right behind me, which results 
to with me having a mini heart attack because I don't want to take it. <laughs> Number three, the cost of ownership. Now, if you're able to obtain a Mustang as your first car, that's good. They're expensive cars, definitely. Not just with the base price of the car, but with insurance and ownership and other things you want to do with the car. Um, whether you have a four cylinder or the V8, you know, there's no more V6. I was cut out for the new Mustangs, but let's say you get maybe a, a used model that includes the V6. They're, they're pricey cars. Um, insurance is definitely one of the biggest things that will eat away at your wallet. Um, if you have a car payment, again, it's an expensive car. You might have a high car payment depending on how much you actually put down the vehicle. And gas, whether you are you have a heavy foot with a four cylinder or you're taking it easy with a V8, you'll notice that your gas tank will go down quite, quite quickly if you're not really paying attention to your driving. I get that quite often. My Mustang is my daily driver and when I drive I notice that my gas tank likes going away from me pretty quickly which results in multiple uh, stops at the gas station during the week. So gas is very expensive, ownership is it's a very expensive thing to own a Mustang and actually uh, you know keep it up. And then one thing that really eats away your wallet is um, car modifications. If you have the V8, you'll know that the 5.0 um, V8 is an amazing sounding uh, engine. I'm sure many of you have, I mean, I've, it's safe to say almost everyone who's interested in owning a Mustang has heard of Mustang with an aftermarket exhaust. And adding car parts to your car is a fairly expensive thing to do because once you get started with one, let's say you want a good cat back exhaust. Those can easily run from $900 to 1300 for a cat, for a really good cat back. And once you put one thing on, you might want to toss in maybe, um, let's say you want a new X pipe or an air intake, things like that. Because once you get started with modifying your Mustang, it becomes an addictive thing where you want to keep adding more and more things to it. And when you do this, you'll know, you kind of want to hear your exhaust a little bit more. You, you'll give it more gas. And again, one of the main things that will result in you running out of gas is you want to hear your exhaust which is what my biggest thing is when it comes to my gas tank being empty almost all the time now kind of branch away from the the practicality the practical questions of owning a mustang and getting to more into the car enthusiast type things having a mustang is um it's an amazing thing you know it ever since 1964 it's been one of the most well-known cars Everyone knows Ford Mustang, and I think many people people might argue with me on this one, but I would say it's a really good branch um, into kind of going into the world of cars. If you're a new car enthusiast or an old car enthusiast, or you're like me who's loved cars since you know almost all your life, I would say owning a Mustang is a really good branch into owning um, Musk cars and exotics possibly I don't many people who start out owning um, not just Mustangs but cheaper more affordable cars must cars and then slowly branching their way into working towards maybe Corvettes um, Z06s and kind of just branch you know slowly going up to uh, more expensive cars it's a really good way to get experience with driving high performance vehicles and if you take it to the track especially you'll be able to experience the car let it rip a little bit and um, really enjoy the car so if you're a car enthusiast, you enjoy driving. Mustangs are really, really nice cars. But if you want to maybe get more, more um, in-depth questions, questions that pertain more to you than these uh, very general questions, uh, go ahead, hit me up. My, I'll put my little Instagram up there right now, so you can go ahead and maybe follow me, DM me if you have any questions about Mustangs in general. More in-depth questions, let me know. I love talking about cars. It's why this YouTube channel exists. So go ahead, hit me up if you have any questions. But I'm gonna go start driving now. Um, kind of start closing out the video a little bit because my car has been on for most of the time and my gas is going down and I should have turned my car off. So I'm gonna start cutting out the video in a second here. But before I do that, let me know what you guys wanna see. Whether it be more Mustang modifications, car shows, um, going to certain car events, convoys, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments below what I should do to maybe improve this channel a little bit. Constructive criticism or just straight up crit criticism, I don't mind. I wanna hear, I wanna hear your thoughts on the channel. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit, um, hit like, hit subscribe if you really enjoyed that much. 
Um, really appreciate all of that, and I will see you, all of you, in the next video.